day 21. Today we enter the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And I don't know why I'm anxious about it. The day is, is pretty, quite pretty. Listen to all those birds singing. And it uh, looks like it's going to be a very nice day. We, we do have about a 4,000 foot climb today. And that's daunting. The other daunting thing is we've got to carry food for seven, seven days. And um, so my pack is grossly overloaded and heavy. And, and um, so that 4,000 foot climb is not going to be a picnic. They had them in the outside door. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah oh, there's them. Yeah. They keep them in the back near the outside door. So oh, they're for the, they get like a day 21. So that it doesn't get into the hospital. <laughs> yeah, the I never thought get this out of my mind, but burger and beer in the tavern in Knoxville. <laughs> that's what they <laughs> like. That's, that's your, that's that's your, your motivation. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I got him back. He's literally lived in the back of his truck. But he's been there every day. So yeah. That's, that's So part of my grumbling this morning <laughs> is uh, in response to the weight of my pack. And my pack weighs a lot because we, uh, we laid out six full days of food to get us back to a point where we can resupply again. And food at best is two pounds a day. So that's 12 pounds that I was not carrying two days ago. <laughs> right. And we had to fully load with water too. Water weighs two pounds per liter. And uh, and we're going uphill all day. So all that together makes for a very heavy pack, um, very challenging morning. We're on our way up to the permit box. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Maintain a distance of 50 yards from bears. And then come walking down the trail at you. It's good to go. Ooh, that's not good. Done and done. All right, we are officially in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park now. Just a bunch of wild backpackers. Feral old people. <laughs> All right, we're 50 minutes into our morning. We just climbed and climbed and climbed and climbed. And now we're taking a water break. We're 50 minutes into our walk this morning. We've climbed about a thousand feet since we got out of the van. And we've got about, uh, I don't know, 13, 1400 feet to go to get to the top of this ridge line where there's a fire tower. So a mile and a half in 50 minutes, not bad with this kind of uh, elevation. Temperature is uh, about 55 degrees. There's a light breeze. Uh, not enough to keep us cool though. We are down to base layer and we're just sweating. We're working so hard going up the hillside. Look at that, it's spring, our first flower. Oh, we're um, four hours in now. 
and it is a gorgeous day for walking. Yeah, it's beautiful. We've come about 7.7 .7 miles from our start this morning, and we probably climbed about 3,000 feet for the day. Yeah. We've got more climbing ahead of us. So there's there's three shelters ahead. There's a, oh, here we go. There's Molly's Ridge, Russell Field, and then beyond that, like probably at the nine mile point is um, Spence Field Shelter. So we're just gonna keep going and see how far we get. Field is at 183. So um, how are you feeling? Good, I feel strong. I do too. Good breakfast, good rest, five hot meals, makes a difference. Yeah, two nights in a bed. Two nights gotta in a bed. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No more nights in a bed for quite a while though. I think five, a, six a, days or so. About a week, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we're, we're feeling strong now. There's not a lot to see. It's uh, it's pretty up here. Uh, we're, we started to see springtime signs down below, but we're not seeing them so much up yeah. here. But, um, but it's still so peaceful and nice. And uh, there's a lot of folks out on the trail today. We got a, yeah. we got a, a thunder bubble yesterday when the storms rolled in at breakfast time. Everybody just kind of hunkered down and a lot of people stayed at the hotel. We had a bus load this morning coming up to the trail. But uh, we've all spread out now, so not seeing a lot of people, but, you know. Every people, now and then. Yeah, people are passing us now and then. <laughs> We're passing people now and then. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, that's a pretty good sign that uh, you're right. The bears are not asleep anymore. Take a look at this. This is very indicative of bear activity. Recent bear activity. All right, here we are inside Russell Field Shelter. We've decided 14 miles is enough for us today. Uh, this shelter has a fireplace, isn't that cute? And uh, we're gonna go with the upper deck. So here we are at the shelter. And the first step is to, uh, to do some cleaning. A lot of times there's dirt from people's shoes. There can also be a lot of mouse droppings. So we'll, we'll brush those off this deck. Make it clean to sleep here tonight. I currently have two food bags. That's a lot of food. None of it will stay in the shelter tonight. All the food's got to be got to be moved out to where bears can't get to it or not attracted to it. We have uh, these two air mattresses. These things have been just awesome. They're so warm and comfortable. I'm awfully glad we, we found this and decided to go ahead and get the warmest and the most expensive one that they make. These boys, it made a nice difference on these cold days. It's supposed to be cold tonight. So this is pretty cool. This is a pump sack. They make bigger ones and I wish I had a bigger one, but this one's not bad for now get it fully, fully extended, and then just bag that air and push it into the sleeping bag. If I do that about 10 times, the bag is nicely inflated. And then I'll work on his bag, because he's getting the water. And that, a lot of times, that's a bad job. The water's already downhill, so you get all these two big bottles of water, and then you have to lug them back uphill. nice that he does it night after night. Did you guys notice 
Today we hiked the 14 miles from the Fontana Dam picnic area up to a shelter called um, Russell Field Shelter. We climbed about 4,800 feet. Uh, we covered the 14 miles in a little under seven hours. Got here just after four and uh, took care of all our gear, got our dinner, and now we're nestled in our sleeping bags ready to call it a day. Thanks for joining us.